Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health and we're here to review this experiment. Now this is a hoop skirt and inside the hoop skirt we have a Dyphenbachia plant. As you can see it has very small leaves with little to no patterning. And this is what the Dyphenbachia looks like. It has very large leaves and in this particular case they have very heavy patterning on them. So this plant has gone from looking like this to looking like this in the duration that it's been inside the hoop skirt. Now, I don't actually believe that it's the hoop skirt that's done this because I actually live in a home that has very high radio frequencies running through it and they deform the diaphragm back here. So this actually looks like my control plants. And uh, yeah, it's not too different at all based on what I see in the controls that grow around my home. So I have to say at this point, this particular hoop skirt has not had any significant effect on the growth of this plant. And the hoop skirt, if you look at it right now, it's actually held together by string. So we're about to move into the next phase of the experiment. And we're gonna replace the string with copper wire. So I'm gonna take these strings off. I'm gonna change them out to copper wire. So the whole hoop skirt is gonna turn into a crinoline and then this plant here is going to go inside the crinoline skirt. And we're going to see how this one fares. And it normally takes about six months to a year to get results with the Dyphenbachia in these electromagnetic experiments. And the Dyphenbachia is electromagnetically sensitive. That's why I use it. So I'm going to change out the experiment today. I'm going to start the new experiment with this plant. And as soon as I have any more information, on this experiment, I will do another video. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.